Yes, you did, Essie. You really did. Come. <laughs> my coming home would not have been a surprise if you'd read my last letters. Granted, I was not sure exactly when Paul Jr. and I would return from our latest trip. But after having such a glorious time in Africa, I couldn't wait to get home to see you. That is very sweet of you to say. It's nice to see you too. Come, give me a hug. Not so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, if you really were happy and excited to see me, you would have greeted me at the door. Like a husband should when a wife comes home from a long journey. Instead, you just stood there, as you are doing now, in disbelief when I walked in the door. <laughs> <laughs> I have my own clue. Thank you. What does that look for? The look says nothing. Hey, I am happy to see you. Paul, don't start. It's been a long day. I am not trying to be contentious. It doesn't matter. Well, it does matter, just not anymore. <laughs> this time, I've don't decided. Don't you know that, that I need you? Only when it's convenient. Wants and needs are two different things. We all want a lot of things in life. Whether we need them is the question. I am just trying to bring this whole situation around. Don't need to get sentimental. All of the arrangements for your tours and your performances have already been made. We have a few dinner parties to attend later on this week. I'll leave it to you to decide which political gatherings and rallies you'll attend as you travel. And then, as usual, we'll go off in two separate directions. You'll go off to the left for long periods of time, and I'll be here alone, or at our home in Connecticut, until I get bored, long for some adventure, and decide to take a little trip of my own to the right. And whenever the two shall, what is it again? Meet. It's whenever the two shall meet. Yes, that's it. So. What's for dinner? I'm starved. <laughs> I'm working on it. Or were you waiting for, for a special dinner to come to you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you need a drink? Yes, you need a drink. Let me get you one. Here you go. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? I did not say that I wanted one. Well, I just assumed. So you might I thought well. that. Since when? Since now. Well, why am I just now hearing about this? You've never had the chance. It's no big deal, is it? Well, no. Well, you drink it. Both glasses. Why not? You can handle it. It's not like you have not done so before. Or were you entertaining earlier and drinking earlier? Are mm. well, you asking or guessing? <laughs> not. What is it? Nothing. I just I'm glad for once to have a night alone where you're not carried away off somewhere. For once. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> you look worried. <laughs> Why should I be? That's a good question. It's not every day that someone knocks on your door twice in one night. Do you need a rest for me? No. Are you trying to get rid of me? Can I not say anything without offending you? Who's offended? I'm certainly not. I just want to have a simple conversation with my husband. <laughs> <laughs>
And it wouldn't bother you because of the sluts you hang around with. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I don't have another man. Because it's plain as day, Paul Rolton, that you are the only one in this house getting some loving right about now. And all I can say for sure is that it's not coming from me. <clears throat> you just don't know how hard it is to hold up a good face in front of people, even in town here. And they later realized that the one person, even in a crowded room, that you were paying the least attention to is your wife. Marching and campaigning with the people for equal rights by day, and singing and entertaining the rich as well as the poor by night. We both know that whether you are doing movies or in the theater, you have to stay focused. It's the nature of the game. This job has afforded us a lifestyle that only a few people can dream. True, a lot of who I am today comes from you supporting me and being there for me. You have blessed me with a son. We travel all over this world together. You are right there by my side. Together we do make a good team. So where do we go from here? Before we go anywhere, I still have a few more questions asked. We have covered <laughs> enough in one night. The questions may be satisfactory for you, but there is more that is needed for me. What else can I ask? It's not what you can get. It's what will be better. Why do I feel like I'm being set up? No one trapped. I'm only asking for honesty. Can I get you that drink? Because <laughs> <laughs> I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> What else is on your mind? Are you going to file for a divorce? Why would you say that? That's just it, boys. You have never really expressed that thought to me, but I seem to keep hearing it from other people many, many times over the years, especially from your finance manager. No. I will not divorce you. I want Paul Jr. to grow up in a stable home. And I want to see myself. <laughs> It is hard enough to be away from you. And it's hard when you have to take him with you to go visit your sick mother. And I assume it's hard on a young boy when we both have to leave. We can't take him with us. The last thing I need in this situation is to be an absent father. You do not have anything to worry about. That is good to hear. That's what I keep trying to tell myself. And sometimes it's hard when your heart gets in the way and you totally don't know which way to turn. It's one thing to fight the wars out in the streets where you live. It's another when it's in your own home. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Have you totally fallen out of love with me? What must I do to prove that I love you? It's not a matter of proving, Paul. Real love is something that you can feel. You can love me and not be in love with me. Mm -hmm. Yes, Paul. Real love shouldn't be a struggle. It's not supposed to hurt. When you love someone, you can't wait to be with them. You'll go anywhere, do anything to hear their voice. You're drawn to them like, like a moth to a flame. I love them. Couples go through their phases. As you know, one minute everything is great, and the next minute all hell breaks loose. Despite our ups and downs, we, we get along well together. We travel great together. We share the same viewpoints on life. We're both fighting for civil rights. And you seem to take up a cause for the people here in the United States. And I, and I fight for the injustices here in Europe and abroad. It is a lot of hard work and dedication that we both sacrificed and signed up for. That is true. You are correct. Did I 
I am smart, bright, educated, and have a lot to offer. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true that I am living in your shadow. I have to admit that you are who you are. And it's going to be up to me to decide how things are going to go from now on for me. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Seems like you made up your mind. Indeed I have. I'm moving on with my life in some ways without you. I guess I really need to give people something to talk about. <laughs> I am going to take my education in anthropological studies and my trips to Africa, and I'm going to write about the people, and the culture, and my experiences in a book that I'm going to call African Journey. Well, I support you. But please, do not write another book about me. <laughs> I guess I'll focus now more on my special interests and less on yours. Oh, too shit. But this does not mean, Paul, that you totally have a get out of jail free card in your <clears throat> pocket. <laughs> well, I see that you don't like my friends and some of my lifestyle may upset you. Mm. I will try to do that. Paul, I am asking you that you don't forget that you have a home. Sometimes I think you forget you have a wife and a child, and I do need your support to keep things going. And your finance manager, I believe, taught you how to give me money. You don't like him much, do you? Why should I? I don't like anyone who does not have my best interest at heart. <laughs> well, I will take care of things with my account, and I will talk to him on how to do it. I would appreciate that very much. I should not have to get fired and mad at your attention. I will be more attentive. Now, Paul, is there anything that you want to ask me? Will you ever leave me? What makes you ask that question? Are we now feeling vulnerable? Not necessarily. Just, um, curious. Would I ever treat you in the same manner that you have treated me? Oh. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm asking. I never thought we could come to a common ground. I would have left you a long time ago. <laughs> I see. It's not that complicated. Fighting for equal rights for women is complicated. Civil rights and all of the lives lost and the few battles won is complicated. Founding of the NAACP and us organizing and coming together as a people and in love should not be that complicated. At this point in my Juncture of my new life, I am not going to let you or anyone stop me or complicate things for me anymore. Well, Miss Ropes, I see there's a newfound passion inside of you. Yes, and I am excited. Well, is there any of that zest for me? That, my dear Ruby, is complicated. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>